In this video, I'm going to show you five different visibility settings that you should be aware of when you're uploading your videos to YouTube. And you want to pay attention to these settings because they can affect your views and your engagement. So let's get started. Hi, it's Steve from It Makes Sense, where we give you the tools, the tips, and the strategies so you can start a YouTube business because it just makes sense to have time and financial freedom. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Now this video is in response to a question I received on one of my videos in the comments and it was from Gaz Moran and they say, Hi Steve, great video. Can you please explain more on the visibility setting? I don't know which one to choose, public, private, or enlisted. Thanks in advance. That is a great question because if you don't have it set properly, you could be potentially losing views. So let's go through the five different settings. All right, I'm on my YouTube channel here and let's pretend that we're just uploading a video for the first time. So all I'm going to do is I'm on my YouTube channel. I'm going to hit this little plus, upload a video, and I'm just going to drag in a random video. Now, once it starts to upload, you can see the different default settings that I have in my description, the title. So I'm going to skip all this for now. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to hit next and then I'm gonna hit next because I wanna get to visibility. Now this is where you can choose which visibility you want. So let's start with the most common and that is public. Now public means anyone can see your video. It's searchable, people can comment on it, people can share the link, it is public to the world. So that is what public means. And most of the time you are gonna want to set your videos to public, which means again, everyone can watch this video. All right, the next visibility setting we need to go over is private. Now private means only you or people that you give the specific link to will be able to view this video. And let me show you how that works in a second because I'm not gonna publish this yet. But once I do, I'll show you how private works. Now, no one can search for this, no one can comment on this, and it won't show up on your channel's homepage. So let's say you're doing a specific training video that you want your employees to see, then you would have a video marked as private. And private's good for if you don't wanna pay for like a service like Vimeo or something like that and you can have a free upload to YouTube and you can send that or you can set that to a private video then you can send your employees those links and only those employees that you give those permissions to to watch that video can watch that specific video and that is what private means and like I said in a second I'll show you the difference between private and the next setting which is unlisted Hey, if you have an upcoming YouTube question that you would like me to cover in a future video, leave a comment down below. And if you're getting value from this video, please hit that like button. Now, Enlisted is a little different than private. Unlisted won't show up on your homepage. It won't show up in search results. However, if people get a link to that specific video, anyone can watch it. So for instance, let's say you have this video that's unlisted embedded on your blog post and people watch it and they like it and they wanna share that, they're able to do that. Unlisted also allows for comments. So it's not as restricted as private, but it's also not as public as public. So unlisted videos, like I said, it won't show up here on your home feed, it won't show up on search, it won't show up on YouTube recommended videos, but people can share it and also people can comment on that and that is what Unlisted is. So the next setting is Schedule and this is exactly as it sounds. This is, you can set a specific date and time when your video goes public. And this is great because you can schedule your videos to go live when you know your audience is most active on YouTube. So for instance, for my videos, I publish them or I schedule them to go live either on Monday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or Thursday uh, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. And like I said, this is really good if you want to first get your videos uploaded to YouTube so YouTube has its time to properly categorize your videos. And like I said, you can also use it and you can schedule it when your audience is most live on or most active on YouTube. Now the last setting we need to talk about is set as premiere. Now what this does is it schedules 
a time when your video goes live, but it also creates a shareable watch page where you and your audience can go and comment and chat ahead of time before the video is released. So this allows you to create some buzz around your video. So think of a movie premiere before it goes live, before the movie goes live, there's buzz with actors going on talk shows and whatnot. And that's kind of similar to what premiere is. And then once the video is live, you and your audience can watch that video together and then interact in a public chat. Now keep in mind, this is public. So anyone, including your non-subscribers can go and comment on that shareable watch page. And also keep in mind, you can only set as Premiere on YouTube desktop. However, once you set it, anyone on any device can watch that Premiere video. You just have to set it originally on YouTube desktop. All right, now that we've gone through the five different settings, let me just show you what each one really does. So let's go to and make this originally, let's make it private originally. So let's save it. So now the video is live on my YouTube channel. However, no one can search on it. And if I go to my channel, so right, right now it's, it's MV1, it's the name of the file. So if I go to my channel and I go to my videos, now you can see it'll show up for me because I am the YouTube content creator. So it will show up because it's my own video. However, let me switch accounts and show you. So let's go to this account here. Now it's not showing up because it's marked private. Now let me switch back and click on this video. And you can also see that comments are not supported on private videos. The last thing I wanna show you is if I go and share, if I copy this link to this video and I open up a, a new incognito window and just paste it, I'll get an error message because I don't have access to this private video. So that's what private does. Now let's go back to this video and let's edit it. And you can see you can switch between the different visibility settings if you're the content creator. All you need to do is go back into the video, edit it, and go back here to visibility. And now let's change it to unlisted. And let's hit done. And let's hit save. Now, if I go back to my channel, obviously it will show up because I am the content creator. Let's go to videos and it shows up. And if I click on this, you can now see that I can also add comments. And if I go and if I share this, if I copy this link and I open up a new incognito window, I can obviously watch it because it's unlisted, but even unlisted, you can still watch the video and share. Delete, delete this or stop that. So that is unlisted. Now I don't need to show you public because public is what it is. Anyone can see that video at any time and that's what public is. So let me do a quick summary of what each of the different visibility, public, unlisted, and private is because I know it can be a little confusing. So let me show you a quick summary. All right, so this is a quick summary of the differences between private, unlisted, and public. Now, private, you can't share a URL, you can with unlisted, and you can with public. It can be added to a channel section, which are the different channels on your homepage. No with private, yes with unlisted, and yes with public. It shows up in search related videos and other recommended videos. No for private, no for unlisted, and yes for public. It's posted on your channel, no for private, no for unlisted, and yes for public. It shows up in your subscriber feed, no for private, no for unlisted, and yes for public. And can be commented on, no for private, yes for unlisted, and yes for public. So as you can see, no, private is the most restricted in terms of security, and public is the mo least unrestricted when it comes to visibility on YouTube. Now, if you don't have these settings set properly, you really can be costing yourself views. However, if you want to learn more YouTube settings that can really save you time when you're uploading a video, go check out this video right here. Or if you don't wanna watch that video, go watch this video down here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.